Hi friends, here is the another problem of nth term related problems, especially of arithmetic progression, right? So, uh, let me read the question. Choose the correct choice in the following, right? And justify also. The first first question is 30th, right? 30th term of an arithmetic progression, that is 10, 7, 4, that's the success, right? Is whether 97, 77, negative 77, or negative 87, right? So then after that we'll be doing the second problem. Let me first do the first problem here. What we have got here, let me write here, right? We have got the nth term, that is 30th term, right? 30th term. Therefore, n is equals to 30, right? And again, of an AP. So first term we have also got, first term is here, A10, right? This is the first term. And we have got the common difference also, common difference. Uh, here we have also got the common names. You can just uh, uh, subtract the preceding points from the any term. Uh, let me do this 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 one, right? Uh, a two minus a one. That is seven minus ten. That is negative three. We have got the common difference. So that is negative three, right? Now we need the thirtieth term, right? A thirty is what? Thirty term is what? Right? And we know the formula of the nth term, that is, a n is equals to, right, first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Or, a 30 is now a, means the, com, uh, means the first term, right, the first term is here 10, right, here first term is the 10, plus n, means the 30th term, that's why 30 minus 1, right, times the common difference. Common difference is here minus 3, right? So it is minus 3, right? Or a 30th term is 10 plus 30 minus 1, that is 29, right? Times minus 3. Or a 30 is equals to 10 plus minus minus. Now 3 9 is 27, carry over 2, 3 2 is 6. 7 and 8, right? So it is 87, right? So therefore, A30 is equals to 10 minus 87. So it is minus 77. So let me see which one is. This is not, this is not, right? This is also not, this is also not. Oh, yeah, minus 77. We got the value. This is also not, right? So we got the answer. Now the second question, okay? Let me read the first second question here. Mm. 11th term of an AP, uh, minus 3, comma, minus half, 2, and that's, 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 is 28, B, uh, 22, minus 38, minus 48 and half, right? So, w what we have got over here, right? Uh, okay, I'm just doing here, right? So, what we have got here, we have got the first term, right? First term is here, negative 3, right? And the nth term we have got that is n is 11, right? We have the 11 and the common difference also we have. This is for the second problem, right? Common difference. Any, right? A2 minus A1 again. A2 minus A1. A2 here is negative half. And A1 is minus minus 3, right? So negative half plus 3. So if there is nothing there is one so I'm taking two common right so two uh, LCM right so two one to two that's why it is minus one plus one two the, that's why three two the six so it is five up and two so we got the common difference also right common difference is five up and two right five by two so now let me use the a and formula nth term formula that is a plus n minus one times common difference since we need the 11th term, right, a 11th, so just I'm using the formula a, the first term, that is negative 3 plus 11, right, n is the 11, because we need the 11th term, that's n equals to 11 minus 1 times the common difference, that is 5 divided by 2, right. So now, uh, let me do further, a 11 is equals to, means the 11th term is equals to negative 3 plus 11 minus 1, that is 10 times 5 upon 2, right? So 2 again 5 ja. Or a 11 is equals to negative 3 and 5 5 to 25, right? 
So what we got here? A11 is equals to, right? A11 or 11th term is equals to 25 minus 3, that is 22, right? So we got the 11th term, that it's 22. Yeah, this one, right? So this is also not, this is also not, this is also not, the 22. So like this, we have to apply the nth term and we have to find out the value. What do you put the term you need? Just apply the formula, right? That's nth term formula. We have learned it many times, right? It's really important. I have, as I have uh, telling this, right? I'm telling since beginning of the arithmetic progression, right? So keep this formula. If you know any three, right? If you know the any three, then you can easily find out the fourth one, whatever it is. Either it is the nth term or the first term or the value of n or the common difference. You can easily find out if you know any three of them, right? Either you know this, this or this or this, this or this or whatever you know, only three. Then the fourth one you can easily calculate. Okay, we'll be meeting in the next video with a different kind. Okay, bye-bye.